In this video, we will see how to install Windows Server on VirtualBox. So open VirtualBox and go to Machine New. And then we will get the window to create new virtual machine. Then first type the name of the virtual machine. So here as an example, we are going to install Windows Server 2019. So I will name this virtual machine as win 2019 then select the folder where uh, we want to save virtual machine then select iso image file so this will be the dot iso file or the installation file for our windows server so as soon as iso file is selected it automatically detected the addition of the Windows Server. Then select this option to skip unattended installation because we want to do manual installation so that we can manually manage all the uh, settings for virtual machine. And then select next. Then select base memory. This will be the RAM that will be allocated to this virtual machine. So we will go with the default value of two GBs. Processors uh, also we will keep as one, which is the default value. And then click next. Then here we have options for virtual hard disk. So the first option is to create a fresh virtual hard disk file. Next is to use an existing uh, virtual hard disk file. And the third option is to not use any virtual hard disk file. So here we don't have any existing file here. So we'll create a new one and uh, we'll keep the size as 50 GBs, which is the default size. And then click next. Then it gives us all the summary for whatever settings we selected just now and then click finish. After clicking on finish here on the left hand side, uh, we could see our virtual machine and it is currently in powered off state. So we have just selected the new settings and added the ISO file. Uh, we can go to settings and confirm if I go to storage, I could see ISO file as added. And if I go to system, I could confirm RAM that we selected. So now highlight this uh, new virtual machine and at the top click on start. So this will power on virtual machine and it should detect the ISO file and prompt us to uh, do the installation for operating system. So now if you could see on the left hand side, it says running. So previously it was powered off. Now the virtual machine is running and it has given us the prompt for Windows setup for Windows Server 2019 because that is the ISO file that we have added. We'll go with the default settings for language and uh, time format and then click next. And here it asks us to start the installation. We also have option to repair your computer, but since this is the fresh installation, so we will click on install now option. So now here uh, we need to select what type of uh, or version of operating system uh, we want to install. So we have standard uh, uh, version and we also have data center. And again, within standard and data center, we have this option for desktop experience, which will give us the GUI uh, version of operating system. So here we will select uh, data center with desktop experience. 
so we will have the GUI uh, version of uh, data center edition and then click next select the license terms and click next now here it asks which type of installation do you want so if we are uh, upgrading any existing operating system then we will go with the first option to upgrade but here we we are installing it on a fresh uh, machine so we will select the second option custom install windows only so to create partition click on new and then click on apply so now uh, two partitions are created the first one is the system reserved partition which is of uh, 549 MB and the second one is uh, 49.5 GBs which is the partition where uh, we will be installing Windows Server so if you could see the type of the first partition is system type uh, and the second one is primary type so we will be installing windows os on the primary type of uh, partition so select that and click next and now it will take some time to uh, complete the installation it will also automatically restart uh, during the installation so after installation and restart it is now asking us to type password so this will be the password for local admin account for our windows server so type password and then click finish and now we get the login screen so here again uh, we have to log in with the local admin account so i will type the same password that i said just now and then now if i go to settings here if i click on system and scroll down to about about section then here we could see the addition of uh, windows os so it says windows server 2019 data center so this way you can uh, do a fresh installation of windows server on virtualbox